break the bonds and the chains. I'm a living proof that God can take a man that's bound up in addiction and set them free. Hallelujah. Do you think that's the only way to conquer these sorts of addictions by replacing them with a different, less destructive addiction? You could be addicted to him. I'm addicted to him. I'm in love with him. Do you have a craving oh, yes. for Christ in the way that you once did for Absolutely. psychoactive drugs? Absolutely. I crave him. And you know, the devil has no prejudice. <laughs> He'll come and get you wherever you're at. You see, I was weak. And the devil said, well, there's a weak one. And then I got introduced, of all things, it was crystal meth. It wasn't uncommon for bosses to include meth in their driver's paychecks to keep them going. August the 16th of 2009, Mr. Collins, you're having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened after that. Things just went away. The doctor had turned and told the woman, let's get the paperwork. We're fixing to cash this man's chips in. He's dead. But see, it wasn't his choice. God said there's going to be life. He put life back through the doctor's hands. He put the numbers back on the board. It wasn't death. It wasn't the doctor. It was all God. You see, when I woke up, I didn't know what it felt like to be an addict. I don't have that desire. Now I've got a new addiction. Do you want to know the God that I'm talking about? If you don't know this God, come forward right now. Don't be afraid to come to these altars, God. Come a long way. Yeah, a long way. I thought one of the most interesting things about your sermon today was that you talked about replacing your addiction to methamphetamine with an addiction to God. Yeah, man. That, that, you just got to go to God. Ever since I laid that down and he delivered me, I've not had a craving. I mean, he healed that part of me. I was delivered from a 20-year drug addiction, no desire, no trigger, no nothing. Can you overdose on God? I can have as much God as I want. Anybody can. And if I want all of him that I could get, then I can have him, but most people don't want that. I get high off the Holy Spirit, not like high like as a substance, I, but it's the power from heaven that manifests itself on the inside of me. Just try, try Jesus, man. And what advice would you have for people that are atheists or they struggle to believe in a higher power, but they're also struggling with addiction? If they're struggling believing in God, it's not so much that they don't believe in God, but why don't they believe in God? probably evidence-based thinking. They will believe. They were created to believe. The drug is it, one of the best tools that Satan could have because just anybody without any type of chemist background or anything, and even the average Joe could figure it out. Everybody was cooking math just all over the place. You know, I had one buddy that had a four-wheeler set up that he was cooking math on. He'd just drive out in the middle of a field somewhere and do it. It was so readily available at that time because you could go to Walmart and buy these pills or go to a gas station and buy the pills to make it with. And now that you can't do that, it's a different monster now. Everything's pretty much brought in, I think. Yeah, it used to be in every, every household. And the high lasts longer than most, you know, most other drugs. Have you ever cooked meth? Yes. I stopped cooking 17 years ago. I'm not proud of it, but there was money in my pocket, and it kept me high. You know. I had a friend that cooked that was good at it, and I was his gopher. I, I would run and gather the supplies, and how happy we were that we had done it ourselves. We didn't have to go buy none. And uh, I watched my friend, he got there, he were getting so high, not off the drug and not off the fumes, watching it cook. And I, his words were, I'm so addicted to cooking. The three main ingredients is iodine, ephedrine, and uh, red phosphorus matches. Red phosphorus, there you go. Matches, yeah. Yeah, batteries, fertilizer, liquid fire, <laughs> drain <-o. laughs> Camp fuel. Gas and hose, Yoo-Hoo bottle. Rock salt. Rock yeah. salt. Hose. How much more we need to go? Come on. 
Do you think that's also a sort of addiction, the chemistry? Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, only the strong survives. And I'm still here today. <laughs> and how long I got on here, it's up to him. It's in his hands. Can't get no higher than this. Okay, I'm a dokey dude. Amen.